Okay, and here's some progress on sculpt yesterday's sculpt. So this is number eight. And this is baby Sarah from the movie The Void. This is the creature, the giant creature that's born out of whatever. What did I do? Eh, the pregnant girl. I don't remember her name. But this is uh this is one of the end beasts from the movie The Void. And still got a lot to go. The whole pot of balls under her mouth is, uh, that's going to be redone. It's just too big and too round. I want it to be more varied and have hollows in it between like the beat braids of whatever these ball things that are hanging out of her mouth. Balls. I thought when I first saw the movie, it kind of looked like she had a mouth full of hot dogs, but I'm not putting the film down. It's one of my favorite Lovecraftian films to come out in a long, long time. The Void. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's crazy. It's uh, crazy and wonderful effects that harken back to, like, the original The Thing, you know? Nice, real effects, not CG stuff. Um, but anyway, I digress. So, sculpt number eight, Sarah. Um, again, it's going to have major, then you see the blue lines. There's all kinds of stuff got to get added on the side of the heads, before, the head before she gets molded. Um, all those pods got to get connected up and filled in between with, like, the cartilagey skin. And that whole, the whole mass of hot dogs. hot dogs there under her head is going to get redone because it was about three o'clock in the morning that I was doing them last night. And I did it before I had the skull done because I wanted the skull to sit on top and it's just too round. I want it to be more varied, more hangy. So, but that's easy enough fix. With a little Dremlin, cut a few hollows, sculpt a little more back in and, uh, and she'll be done. But I got to move on from her today so I can get to today's sculpt. So she's getting put in the not finished pile like the rest of the 31 and uh, she will get finished before she gets molded and she will definitely be getting molded. Um, most of this year's should be I'm doing them a little bit smaller this year so I can get them done faster. And so it, you know, I can mold them all up. I think I only got 10 or 12 done the last year's cause they're all just so damn big. I buy a, uh, I buy a two-gallon rubber kit, and I get, like, three molds out of it. These guys out of a two-gallon rubber kit, I'll get 10 or 15, so that's great. But there you go. Thanks for looking. Monster from the Void. Uh, not sure what tomorrow's will be, or what I'm actually today's, what I'm going to be sculpting, but I will be doing the other creature from the Void, too, the Beverly. The nice, crazy, hollow-headed... Uh, well, I can show you a sculpt I did already of her long ago, but I want to do another one. There, she's up on the wall over there. Ah, you can't see it. Let me see if I can zoom. I can zoom. I can zoom. Shaky. But there you go. You can kind of see it. Let's see. Maybe I can get a little more light in there. There you can see it a little bit. But that's the Be Beverly Monster. The crazy, no-faced, tentacle-having, woman-nurse monster thingy. Kind of one of the first real monsters you see in the void. Uh, she's kind of got a hollow head. Well, here, it's going to be based off of this. <sighs> this is one of my abscess skulls from way back in the day. I sculpted this a long time ago. But then it turns out that the void comes out, and that's almost the exact face with tentacles coming out of it and some stringy black hair. So, I made the void that I got over there, that you can't see because it's blurry. It has little tentacles coming out and stuff. I made that years ago, and I figured it's time for a new one. So, that a new version of Beverly will also be coming in a 31. But there you go, I've talked long enough. Thanks for looking. Later.